Hi, this is Sharon from Amico Brent. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to program your Select Fire controller. There are two main avenues for programming and firing with your Select Fire. You can use the pre programmed settings through the Cone Fire function, or you can customize your own program using the Ramp Hold function. We'll start with the Cone Fire function. The controller needs to be in idle. You may need to hit the stop button to get to the setting. It should flash idle followed by the current temperature. Press the cone fire button. It will then prompt you to enter a preheat time. This will hold just under the boiling point of water to ensure all the moisture is driven out of the clay body. To the left of the decimals, hours. To the right, minutes. If you enter a number incorrectly, you can zero it out and re-enter if needed. A hold of at least a few hours is recommended and up to eight hours for thicker or damper pieces. It will then prompt you to put in a cone value. For bisque, we will go to cone 04, although there is a range of cone values still considered bisque. Be mindful of cone values that begin with a zero and those that do not. Hit enter. It will now prompt you to select a firing speed. You can choose between fast, medium, and slow. For bisque, slow is always advisable. Hit enter. It will now prompt you to enter a hold time. The hold is performed at the top temperature of the cone you entered. A hold for bisque is not necessary, so we'll hit zero and enter. The controller now goes back to the idle mode. Press the start button and wait to see the display read on. You will hear the clicking of the relays, which is a normal function of the kiln. Always hit the review button before you walk away to ensure everything is programmed correctly. It will flash through all the information you just entered. Now we will program the cone fire mode for a glaze setting. Make sure the controller is in the idle mode. Press the cone fire button. It will then prompt you to enter a preheat time. Again, this is a hold just under the boiling point of water. Glaze pieces do not require very long holds since the bisque firing already removed the moisture from the clay body. We will perform a 20 minute hold just to remove any added moisture the glazing process may have added. It will then prompt you to put in a cone value. Refer to the instructions from the manufacturer of your glaze for what cone value you are aiming for. We will put in cone 6. It will then prompt you to select a firing speed. Glaze firings are typically medium or fast. Again, refer to the instructions on your glaze as they may specify which speed is best. It will then prompt you to enter a time for a hold. It is advisable to perform a hold at top temperature for glaze firings. This allows the kiln load to soak and ensure all pieces have a chance for the glaze to mature. Excessive holds can result in glaze running. We will perform just a five minute hold and hit enter. The controller now goes back to idle mode. Press the start button and wait to see the display read on. You will hear the clicking of the relays. Again, hit the review button and double check the program you've entered. If you find yourself in need of a customized program, you will want to use the ramp hold function. This comes in handy for slower BIS programs if you have thicker student work or thicker sculptural work. And in more advanced settings, this can also be used for customized glaze programs. Press the ramp hold button. It will prompt you to select a program number. This controller will hold up to six customized firing programs. Next, it will prompt you to enter the number of segments. A segment consists of three parts, the climb, the target temp, and the hold. A few or several segments will make up a firing program. For this particular program, we will be using four. Hit enter. It will read RA1, indicating ramp one. Enter a value for how many degrees an hour you want to climb for this section. Remember, we want to go slowly in the beginning to remove all the water from the clay body before exceeding 212 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll enter 50 degrees an hour and hit enter. It will then read degrees F1, asking for the target temperature of the first segment. Enter a value below 212 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll enter 190 and hit enter. It will then display HD1, asking for the hold time of the first section. We recommend at least a few hours to ensure all moisture is removed before proceeding. It will now repeat these same steps for the remaining three ramps. For ramp two, reading RA2, we'll enter 150 degrees Fahrenheit. 
to 450 degrees Fahrenheit with a 20 minute hold. For ramp three, reading RA3, we'll enter 250 degrees Fahrenheit an hour to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit with a 20 minute hold. For ramp four, reading RA4, we'll enter 350 degrees Fahrenheit an hour to 1,945 degrees Fahrenheit with no hold. Finally, it will prompt you to enter an alarm temperature. The kiln will shut itself off and sound the alarm if it reaches the temperature we enter here. Enter a degree just slightly above the target temp and hit enter. The controller now goes back to idle mode. Press the start button and wait to see the display read on. You will hear the clicking of your relays, which is a normal sound to hear. Always hit the review button before you walk away to ensure everything is programmed correctly. It will flash through all of the information you just entered. If you need help programming your kiln, contact our technical support team using the information listed below. Thanks for watching.